What is up YouTube, welcome back to another episode. In today's episode we've got um, a radiator change for a towel rail. Not like the one we did the other day, we're going to be altering the pipework. I think it's in a plasterboard wall. I'm not sure if it's on speed fit, but we're going to alter the pipework nice and neatly. And uh, maybe patch it up, maybe not. I've told the customer that they'll have to do it, but if we get time we'll patch it up. And we've got a rocker, another rocker flush valve that's failing. But I think I've managed to buy the correct washer for it this time instead of replacing the whole valve. We now have a push on for five casing as we've hit two. Might, might be years off, but dream big. <laughs> no way. Thanks for watching. This is what we've got to take off. So obviously as usual, get both them valves shut off and drain the radiator. <laughs> Replacing it with this. It's upside down, obviously. Straight valves and your chrome 10 to 15 mil elbows. With rapid blue, we're gonna risk it again. <laughs> it's a good start, isn't it? Drain off. That works. That's sucking in there now, and obviously allowing the water to empty out, which is exactly what we want. They are plastic, I think. I'm not sure what type of fittings they are. Let's get these done first, actually, because uh, after what happened last time, I didn't give it enough time to cure. I don't want to make that mistake again. It's hard work trying to keep the nut out of the liquid whilst holding the foam. <laughs> Get out of it. Oh, never mind, I have to clean there's some cleaning up to do. Look at that. I've never seen a blue valve before. If we put these on now, it'll stop it, keep sliding into the fluid. Because I've had it before where the, the nut slid down and set. <laughs> set against the bottom of the radiant towel rail. Yes, I know we wouldn't have this problem with PTFE. Plasterboard wall, so... <coughs> Plasterboard fixings again. <coughs> Let's take these out and fill the holes, because they'll never be able to do it with a towel reel back on. Well, they might be able to, but still. These are called pigtails. Can you see why? <laughs> They're not that bad, actually. Might use them on this, because it's only a dead light towel reel. So you just screw that straight into the plasterboard and then obviously you get a screw and it screws into makes its own thread into that. Like I said, they're alright for lightweight stuff. Two of these, obviously you just unscrew the screw out. One side goes at the front, the other side at the back. You can set them in wherever rail you want, but I think it looks better one up. And one down. That's sometimes only can be three, so one in the middle at the bottom. Simple as that. Probably telling you how to suck eggs. Why do they say that? Suck eggs. Teaching you how to suck eggs. Who, who sucks eggs? <laughs> Rub 
probably shouldn't use an impact on them because it's only plastic threads, metal bolts, but I like to live dangerously, you know. <coughs> it's gonna pretty much go same position as last one. Probably keep it about that high up. Put the level against it now once I've got hold of it and just mark round these holes. So it ends up with something like that. So obviously I just want to send a fixing in the centre of these circles. Be mindful that the pipes run up the wall. I don't want to be hitting them. As I say every time, don't forget to pile up these in first, although these have got a hole right through them, that's decent. Just makes it easier when that's on the wall and you try hand tighten it underneath. <laughs> If you've not piloted them and they've not got a proper hole in like that, you just find that this screw just drops and it starts to aggravate you. I'm going to use the bullfix fixings again. So, 20 mil hole. <laughs> Get back in you. Get your little, no idea what it's called, but make sure it's pointing upright. And tap her in. Then you fish back to front. That's it. It's ready for the screw to be put in the uh, bracket. What I'll give you is leave these slightly loose so you can slide them across for it just to account for any intolerances you've got in your brackets. It just goes on easier. Don't forget to do what will probably be, can't get me filming, the most tedious bit of the job. Let's tighten these in, stops it from pulling off the wall. The one thing I did forget was to fill the holes before putting it on, but I should be able to do that after. Well, no, I will be able to do that after. <laughs> these are pushing things now. Sometimes they have a little lug on, you've got to guide them into, but not on this one. This is just a cheap one from screw fix which is 30 quid valves are nearly as expensive as that so obviously we're going to be using these again technically i probably could just get that straight in but I'm not sure how good that's going to look so i'll probably just make this all a bit bigger speed fit elbow piece of copper straight out into that but before i do that because we're downstairs on a combi system i'm going to shut the valves off to the boiler to try and hold back as much water from upstairs as, as i can Years old, so hopefully they should be fine. Ah. Oh my god, that's black. Hopefully that should stop in a sec. He says, Mind it to self, insert, insert clip. 10 minutes later. A few minutes later. Hmm. Work. That's the 
Mr. Crow Mountain Vocal. or not. Sometimes you gotta hold these straight whilst you tighten them up. Oh, that was simple enough, wasn't it? Didn't even have to take out any more of the wall. <laughs> I'm gonna put this Talon Chrome chrome on like that as well, and I'll fill that in. But looks a bit better for the customer, that, doesn't it? Hopefully, that side will be as easy as well. No point filming that though. You've just seen what I've done. I'm going to do the same again. I know I might film it. Well, it looks straight on the camera. I'm going to have to take a little bit more of a notch out of here because it actually wants to be there. I think. Right on a stud. I'll just mull it a little bit of this out. Or even drill with a flat blade. Bit of that out. That was a good shot. Where the hell's this coming from? Sorry, I got lost in the moment. I've done it. <laughs> Just had to put a slight, if that's going to show up. Ugh. Slight bend. Bend as well just to pull it round because I was I couldn't start hacking away at that uh, stud to get the speed fit elbow in like I've done. But if I'd hacked away more, it would have been now left. That's my come down. Get these valves back open now and uh, put some pressure in it. On this one, you've got that valve and that valve you need to open to fill it up. And a digital pressure gauge. Not sure if there's one inside this, it's not one of my installs. I don't fit I don't fit glow worm. Hopefully there's no leaks. So I have to go off the field because I can't see. when it's gone off. I'll probably foam these up and then cut that off and plaster them after. That's wet from when I bled it, I see it running down the radiator. It's up and running though, nice. Another job. Done. This is the toilet in question. And what it's doing is it's constantly running into the bowl. Can you see the trickle there? And at night, obviously whilst it's doing that, the water level in the cistern's dropping. And the ball valve thinks, I need to top up. So I've ordered this, it's about, you work out about four or five quid posted from Amazon. Any details you might need off it is there. 
Hopefully, that's what it is. Flip those two out. Probably can't see it, but there's a posi drive screwdriver in there. Uh, screw in there, just undo that. I'll do this live, but I can't be bothered listening to that filling up. That's something I explain what I'm doing. Yeah, so it started getting the bubbles in on top of it. There's only one or two actually, that's the biggest one. But that's enough to cause it not to seat on the bottom of the flush valve plate. And then obviously the water can trickle underneath because this is sat upside down like that. Onto that there. And if that's not sat flat and create a seal, then the water will just trickle out through it. So with a bit of luck, this is the washer, hopefully. And hopefully they've improved it, because I don't know why they get these spots in. If you puff them, they've got water in. At the end of the day, it's only rubber. If you know why, drop it down in the comments. Got to take this that off. just pulled off there. I thought it might spin, so just grabbed it with the grips, but it came off quite easy. Oh, there's loads more on that side. Loads more. Hmm. It's like a virus. Not sure if it's the right part. Put it up against each other. And just check. Thickness. Central point, etc. Not sure it just push back on to there. I think that's it. <laughs> Let's pull that back on and try it. I should be that back in. Nice easy job when you get the right parts for the uh, for it. for the bin. No more strictly. Obviously you want to be washing your hands after messing with toilets or use gloves. I'm still wash your hands. And that's them two done. Thanks for watching guys. Uh, this has been a long video. <laughs> I didn't expect it to uh, be dragged out so much. I am aware that I'm repeating similar sort of jobs on, on YouTube. So just let me know down below if you don't mind, like, cause it was only a couple of videos ago I was changing a radiator for a towel rail, etc. cetera. Um, if you don't mind seeing jobs be kind of repeated, then let me know if that's okay. And if you do mind, then let me know if it's not okay and I'll, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, cause that's what job's got to come in. I can't help that. <laughs> As usual, give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe if you haven't, cause we've got a 2K giveaway going on. We'll be drawing the winner towards the end of October. Um, it's on the video episode 86, episode 85. <laughs> we'll crop that bit out and like it never happened. <clears throat> yeah. Episode 85, you've got a comment tap in the description of that video, not this video. You can comment anything you want in this description. But yeah, thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.